Hey everyone, this is the Untwisted Voice. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video blog. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot and thanks again for stopping by. What do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about my alcoholism. Why am I an alcoholic? Why are 85% of the population not alcoholic? And everybody that I know drinks, but they don't drink like I used to drink. And I hope in this video I can help you out if you're having sort of a problem identifying why you're an alcoholic or why is it that you drink a lot and your life turns to shit because my life turned to shit because of alcohol. A direct result from extreme alcoholism that I just about lost my life, physically lost my life. The withdrawals were so bad at the end, my heart was palpitating, they were so bad that I thought I was going to die from a massive heart attack. That's where my life became. Living in a room, unemployable, angry as hell, girlfriend didn't want to talk to me, children that I couldn't look after because I was so, so sick. And that's where alcoholism took me. You know, when I was a little boy, in 10 or 14 years old, a little kid or a teenager, I didn't want to aspire to be an alcoholic. I didn't want to be an alcoholic. I wanted to be a businessman. I wanted to be right up there with the winners. But alcohol had a different journey for me. And when I first drank alcohol, I was about 13 or 14 years old, I didn't even like it. I learned or I taught myself to drink it. I'm a, was, I was a big beer drinker, but at the end I would drink anything. I didn't care what it was, long as it worked. You know, that's where it took me, you know, six beers with six people when I, when I was in my teens turned out to be a 24, three or four times a week when I stopped drinking. You know, what was fun in games turned out to be a horror show at the end. And how did I get there? What made me an alcoholic? I used to think that it was because I wasn't educated. I came from the wrong side of the tracks. I had low self-esteem. My parents weren't that great. I was abused as a child. There's a lot of things that I thought that made me an alcoholic. And you know, they might have something to do with it. I did drink over the hardships of my childhood, the hardships of my teenage life. I did drink over those things. I ruminated over it and said, you know, if it wasn't for those bastards, I wouldn't be where I was. But did it make me an alcoholic? I'm not sure about that. I really am not sure because I've worked on myself a great deal over the last number of years. I feel pretty good about life in general. I don't drink anymore on a daily basis. I don't drink. I haven't drank in many, many years. For over 25 years, I haven't drank. But I've dealt with a lot of problems or a lot of difficulties or issues I've had in the past. Do I, do I think I can drink safely again? No, because I don't believe they, those circumstances, those issues made me an alcoholic. I believe I drank over them. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to confuse the issue. If you've been abused as a child, if you have if you come from economic difficulties and low self-esteem and you drink a lot, I get that. I understand that because that's where I came from. But did it make me an alcoholic? No. I'm an alcoholic basically because I used and abused the substance of alcohol. And that's exactly what made me an alcoholic. Those social issues that I talked about, low self-esteem, parents, were not that great, uneducated, difficulties of self-image, difficulties on coping with life. I used alcohol to offset those issues, okay? That's what I did. And as life went on and those issues did not get fixed or investigated or I did not help myself with those problems and I ignored them, I used the substance of alcohol like a medication, like an aspirin, like a Tylenol to soothe myself. And as life continued, I continued using alcohol. And anybody who's in the, who has an addiction of any sort or has alcoholism will tell you about something that happens to them. They come to a point in their life after drinking, it could be six months, it could be six years, it could be 10 years, they come to a point where the booze takes them. Now you've come to a point in your life or you're in drinking career that you need 
the alcohol to cope with your life. And at that very, very moment, you have become a bona fide alcoholic. You really, really have. Believe it or not, it's not that scientific, I know this example, but it's very, very true. You have become an alcoholic because now that alcohol, you need it to survive. As for myself, I needed to drink before I talked to a woman. I needed to drink before job interviews. Getting up in the morning, I needed to drink to drive. I was drinking all the time to survive life. I was using it as a medication. Alcoholism is a bona fide illness. Like I said, it's no different than any other illness. It's no different than cancer or diabetes. It's no fault of yours that you have alcoholism. I know it may be a little too simple for a lot of people to grasp because if you're just new in recovery, it's really hard to understand the disease concept when it comes to alcoholism. But that's what it is, folks. It's a bona fide disease and it's no fault of yours. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. But if you all can do one thing and you can subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. Thank you very much for stopping by. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.